Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I want to go ahead and try to get us some griffins. I've been doing a little bit of traveling in between the last video and this one. I've got our cloning chamber from Extinction, and I have it set up over on Valgaro. Well, I don't have it set up. I have it over on Valgaro. And then I went ahead and made up quite a few of the element shards into the transferable element. Got those from Genesis 2. They're all in the transmitter. That way we can go ahead and grab two, preferably two, of the griffins today. We'll tame them. And then whichever ones have the higher stats, we'll go ahead and start cloning them for our little griffin army. So we're going for level 145 or 150. Nothing lower. It's got to be one of those two, like I said, because we're going to be cloning them. And the thing is, that one, that one's a 145. That's one of the reasons why we're only grabbing two to check stats on. So if anything, we can use him if we need to. It'd be kind of weird if that's the one we end up using <laughs> after we go through taming all of these. But I think it'll be fine. It'll be hopefully not too expensive with the cloning. We'll have to figure that out as we get over there. We plan on doing all that today. I think I have everything. I just got back over here. I haven't really checked my inventory much. So we have all of those. Let's grab our taming stuff. I did grab it from Valgaro. And then, oh yeah, and I finally got enough stuff to make a replicator. So we can set that up today here too. Dude, I've been farming up the stuff we need for making those forges. And man, I tell you what, it is taking forever. So we'll leave that out. We'll throw that into there. And then, yeah, so I brought the black pearls over from Extinction. And these are all of the shards I got for... Hopefully, it's going to be enough for doing our cloning. Like I said, it all depends on how much it costs. Let's put you down there. And you down there. Actually, we don't need that one right now either. Let's leave this down here. Go ahead and reload everything so it's good to go. Not that one. And then we'll head over to the trench. Boy, I tell you what. I was searching into trench the other day. And I don't know if that many griffins are supposed to be in that thing. Just, just wait till you see when we get over there, man. It is a ton of them. We're going to take Wingman as well, I think, with us this time. Should be fine. It's uh, going to be kind of sketchy with all the stuff out there. Are you going to be sticking out of the roof? You are. I can see it already. I'll tell you what. Let's just... Set it on the edge there. Yep, okay. Tell you what, we're going to leave it for right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to play with it later. I might end up moving it right here, right in front of that. We'll have to see, and then i have to find somewhere to put that, because that is too tall to go right here. Maybe I'll just move one of those, and we'll put the, the table and the preserving bin next to it. We really don't even need the preserving bin right now. We'll just put it in here for right now. Let's do that. And then we'll head right out. I'm kind of excited to get these done and tamed to see what the difference is on the stats. And see how it works out with the cloning chamber. I can't remember what I cloned back in the day. I think it was just the Spinos that I had. Oh yeah, that's plenty good. Kind of hanging off a little bit, but I mean, it's fine. Cool. So, let's head out. We're going on the Griffin. We're not building a trap. That's kind of the thing. I want to go up. That's why I brought the net launcher. And some nets, and we'll just net them, and hopefully tame them that way. But dude, like I said, there is a ton of stuff over there. Let's reload our shotgun before we even get over there. Oh yeah, and then as far as it goes for the the blood dragons, dude, they're literally right over there. What is that running? Oh, it's a parasaur. They're literally just right over there. So I found a 140 and a level 20. So we'll play with those at another point in time. I do want to tame some because we need a male one, which that's what the 140 is. Is it's a male? And that way we can go ahead and try to do some breeding with those. And I haven't found any more eggs. I've checked a couple times over where we got the other ones at, and none of them have respawned. Dude, look at the tail on that guy. Oh, man. Please tell me you're high level. You're not. Boy, I tell you what. Cool colors, though, man. I still got to find one around here that I want to tame. I'm trying to find some with some good colors before we go and tame it. But all right, let me get over here to the trench, and I'll kind of show you the overpopulation of the griffins that we got there. It's... It's going to be a pain trying to find a 150 in there. So this is the start of the trench. I mean, you can see them all right here. It is a ton of them. And we got to be careful, too. Oh, man. So I found a snake up there. <laughs> a big old nope rope. One of the basilisk is up there by where one of the nests were. And there is a very high-level alpha. I think it's like a 215 or something. Something I do not want to be messing with. So let's see what we got here. Well, that's a 140. Uh, it's still too low level. I like the all black on them, though. And that's a 50. 25. Another 50. Man, 140 is just too low. We really needed to be high level. 
since we're cloning them, you know? Like I said, though, you see them all, man? Holy crap, dude, there are so many griffins. There's a lot of 130s. There's a 145. Okay. Getting better. So maybe we'll go ahead. I mean, we know where, where that one's at. Let me look around first. Let me try to find some 150s. If not, we'll come back down here and grab that 145. And kind of go from there. Oh, there's another dragon. Please don't tell me another alpha. It's not. I wonder why that one's out over here. It's a level. Oh, it's a 195. I was going to say, let's shoot it and kill it. Oh, dude, there are so many. Yep, okay, okay. So he's going to be honest. We're going to have to kill him anyways. Anyway, follow me over here, man. That might be the one I drug off the other day whenever I stole the egg. Would you slow down, please? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, he's latched onto the griffin. Couple headshots. Right to the face. Totally missed. How do you miss with a shotgun? He was flying right at us. I'm just saying. Couple more. He'll be dead. Yep, there we go. Nice. At least we don't have to worry about him. I did not see that one when I was over here scouting the other day. Kind of curious on this red one, though. 55 figures. <laughs> the one I want's too low level. All right, man. Let me try to find us a level 150, and we'll go from there. All right, so I found quite a few that look fantastic, man. Awesome colors, but they were like level 135. Let me get over here. I did not find any 150s. There's a ton of 145s, so that's what we're going with. There's one that is almost solid black down at this end. Let's see if we can find it. Like I said, dude, there is a very high overpopulation of griffins around here. So down here towards the end... Oh, man, do I remember where it was? It's one of these guys. Not you. It's a black one. I think it's right over there by that carcass. Yeah, him. That's the one we want. So he's got an Argentavis he's still trying to kill. They've been fighting with that thing for a minute now. Yep, took care of that. Okay. We're going to have to kill off a lot of these guys, I think. Oh, I need to figure out which one's ours. We need to net it. Okay, we got a lot of them following us. Let's, let's just drag some of them out here. It might be a little bit easier than trying to deal with it in there. Oh, dude, that is a whole bunch of them. All right, so let's go ahead and... Okay. Oh, dude, please don't be the one I was trying to tame. Trying to kill off that red one. I know that's for sure not one that we want. Okay, those, those two broke off. What level are you? 85. Don't want you either. I'm gonna tell you what, that took a <laughs> shotgun right to the face. Okay. So you're good. Let's see if one of these are the ones that we wanted. 145. There's our guy right there. Cool, so he's... Wait, didn't kill him. Thought we killed him. It's harder than it looks, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Mainly because I'm trying not to kill ours. They're so close. Dude, I tell you what. This guy's tanking some shots. And we're out of ammo, boy. I tell you what. Should have reloaded. Okay, cool. He's down. Let's go ahead and drop this guy over here. I don't want him to get down by those Carnos that are down there. Come this way a little bit, buddy. It might be safe. Got some Morella tops. Nice. Gotcha. All right. Stay right there. Are you the one we're looking for? 145. That's not the black one that I was looking for, but I mean, that's still going to work. It's a 145. That's all that I've seen for high level ones. And I don't know what their animation's like whenever they're in the net, whenever they go. Knocked out, so I don't want to hit him too many times. Hopefully we'll get him knocked out before that net comes off. That's a lot of shots, man. Okay, still not out, still not out. Cool, he's down. Nice, man, nice. Alright, get out of the wing. So let's check around here before we put food into him. I don't want to waste our kibble. I think we're good. We just got Morella tops up here. So this might be a good place to drag them to and get them knocked out. I right, stole a little bit of kibble into them. Let's double check our teaming as well. Make sure we didn't hit them too many times. Fantastic. 
Let's do... We'll do the usual four. We'll see how many, how much he gets for each one. We're dehydrated. Okay, fantastic. Forgot to check my water before we left. Cool. So I think what we might do, there are a ton of 145s down at this end. Ah, oh, man, that's a lot to kill off, though, in the process. Can we see how far away he is? I don't think that's one of the ones. That's an 85. That's definitely not one that we want. But we might grab three if we can. Bring them down here and check the stats. I'm kind of curious what they're going to be like. Hopefully it won't take too long either. I don't want it to get nighttime. Oh, dude, I do not want to be doing this in the night. We might be all right to leave him, too. So there's another 145. Interesting. Let's drag him up here as well. Let's try to get his attention. I'm not too crazy about the colors. All right. Do I got multiples on me? I don't. Just him. A little bit further, buddy. A little bit further. Up here by your friend, man. <laughs> Get you guys knocked out right by each other. All right. Let's go ahead and just land here. Okay. Got a net on him. Reload just in case. Should check on that guy, too. It's only been a second. But you never know, he might have taken a bite. I don't want to have him eat too much of the kibble. I think it was like four shots to knock him out. Is that what it was? I don't know if we can find one, one more this close. That might work out. Not yet, not yet. One more. Nope, one more. <laughs> it's always one more. Okay, cool, there we go. We're going to reload anyways. All right, let him sit for a minute. Ours is fine. Keep hearing that beetle. Man, he's still not even taking a bite. Wait, was that a bite? That's not a bite. All right. And they're both at 100%, right? They are. Okay. Well, tell you what. I'm going to put four into this one. Head over. See if we can find one more. Kind of sucks, man. All those griffins and none of them are higher than uh, 145. Just saying. It's a little weird. All right, so it looks like they get 71% for each one, which is kind of a good thing. I was kind of worried that I was going to have to find some berries or something. I didn't bring any narcotics with me. Totally didn't think about it whenever I went to do taming on these guys. So you're only going to need two as well. And like I said, we'll see what the difference is on stats. We might be good. We'll check ours against these two and see how they are. And then if anything, we'll just kind of call it on that. I'm not too sure what we want to put points into on these guys <laughs> for the boss fight. Probably all into split it between health and damage, I'm guessing. They don't do much damage, though. That's the one thing. However, if you take in 19 of them and boost them with a UD, I mean, that should be decent damage, right? Because they hit pretty fast. Kind of like a raptor, right? They do low damage, but they hit very fast. So it might be, might be all right. I don't know. We'll have to see. Nice, nice. So that is the second one. Go ahead and put you into here. I think we're somewhat safe. I haven't had any problems. And let's put ours in here. So let's look at some stats between these guys real quick. So which one is ours? That one is ours. So wild, it was a 34 on health. It's a 39 on health. And a 35. So that one's better on health. What is damage? 37, 38, and 34. So it looks like that one's going to be the one we're probably due for, for cloning. It's got better stamina as well. Dude, I'll tell you what, we might just... <laughs> we might replace ours as well. Interesting. So we had less taming effectiveness on ours. I think we used meat on this one and not kibble. Which one is this one? Okay, that's a darker colored one. Oh, nice, man. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. So, well, we'll just ride back on him. I think we're going to stick with the stats that we have for right now on this one. It's probably be the one we clone. The other ones will keep. I mean, you can never have enough griffins. But I'll probably clone an extra one or two for myself as well. I do like the darker colors. I was hoping it was going to be like solid black. There was a solid black one. Ooh, some more acros. Are those normal ones? Ah, oh, dude, it's white and black. Another scorched one. Oh, it's only level 50, though. I like this one, too, though. Only level 20. Hmm. 
I wonder if we could grab that one for breeding for the colors that like kind of like white and gray. <laughs> he scared me, but he also scared off that vulture. Interesting. I don't know. I do like the color pattern on the scorched ones versus the regular. Nice, man. Nice. We still got to come back and get that other one, too. We'll do it soon. I'm just, oh, dude, I'm kind of burnt out, to be honest with you, on the acros. I really want that 135, though. It's a very high level one. All right. Well, I'm going to head over to the transmitter, get everybody uploaded, and then we'll jump over to Valguero and get the cloning chambers set up and try to see what the cost is for these guys. Hopefully, it's not going to be too expensive. We do got a bunch more of the shards back on extinction, though. There's another snake right there. Oh, there's two of them. What's up, fellas? How's it going? Nice day to be in the sand. Uh-huh. Wake you up. Is that what happened? That one just doesn't even care, does it? Junior! You awake? He's like, dude, leave me alone, man. <laughs> he must be resting up for the night prowl. Oh, dude. <gasps> I didn't see our stamina. That other one got a... What's a 135? Get your stamina back, man. Get your stamina back. Get your stamina back. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, dude. <laughs> that could have ended very, very badly. See? That's why I don't go playing with stuff you have no business messing with. I think what we might end up having to do is pick up the transmitter once we get our stuff out. And we might have to put the cloning chamber there because it's so big. It's the size of a regular teleporter now, right? Since we have the S Plus version. So let's see. Let's grab some pants, man. <laughs> I always got to have my pants on. Kind of weird if you don't. I'm just saying. All right. So that's set. Let's see how big this thing is. I think it's down here. Yes, it's massive, man. Oh, you know what? We can just put it right here. We don't need to pick it up. Nice. That'll work. Cool. So, let's grab a couple things. Which one is the one that... Oh, look at stats. It's fine. 39, 35. This one. All right, so we got you out. Let's grab a bunch of these shards. Well, let's see how much it is first. We might have enough. I think we got like 7,000 or something like that. It's not very many. 7,700. Grab one of these. It's been bugging me. I keep talking about doing it, and I don't do it, and then it bugs me. I need to fix the pig. His snout, man. <laughs> it's not your fault, dude. I'm just saying, though. It's like in the way. There we go. Now we can turn you sideways. You can stay here in peace. Not have to worry about anybody hitting your nose when they go by. Alright, put you in the middle. How does this work? The griffin. Wait. 12,500 each time? Holy crap, dude! Let's see. Quick math. 12,000. Roughly, we'll say. Well, I mean, even if you did 10,000. That's already for cloning 19 of them. Oh, dude, that's going to take forever, man. Let me get these things converting over. It's going to take a minute to get these converted back. Dude, it takes forever to convert them into that. Luckily, though, that is 10,000 in each one. So that's enough to do two, four. <laughs> that's enough to do six. We might have to do a whole bunch of harvesting for shards over on... Genesis 2. Alright though, let me go ahead and get these converted over and then we'll start and we'll do one for today and see how the stats are on it. Make sure it should come out exactly the same though. I mean, I, I hope. That's kind of the whole point of a cloning chamber, right? You clone it. Alright, that's still breaking them down, but we should have enough to pull to, uh, to do this one. Let's do... Oh, it doesn't show. Oh, dude, I'm gonna have to take all of those by hand. Well, not really. I could probably use the transfer tool. It's kind of weird how it's not seen anything in that storage of that. Go ahead and grab our Omni tool real quick. Hopefully this will transfer it. <laughs> I really hope so. All right, so from you. I'll tell you what. Let's just put it right into the 
cloning chamber. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So that should be 14,000 of them. All right, so what we're doing here, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. That should be enough. So we're going to do the griffin. That is so expensive. I wonder if it takes the same amount of time because I know cloning them does take a minute. Three and a half minutes. That's not too long. I can't remember if you have to leave them there the whole time or not. Doesn't matter. We don't need to move them for anything. So I'm going to go ahead and finish breaking down some more of these. And then hopefully that will be done soon. Really hope it's going to be the same colors and all. All right, so Junior's almost done here. Five more seconds and he should have a twin. Not sure how that works with two of them popping up on the same platform. Oh, he just well, pops up literally right on the same platform. Y'all look identical. <laughs> I know, man. It's a point. All right, so this is the clone. Put you over there. So can you clone the clone? Or do you have to clone the original? I don't think it really matters, does it? So these should all be the same. 5600, 630, 56, 630, and then 425 and 336, 425, 336, so that's going to work, that should be fine, and then we put all the points into them normally, so whenever you clone something, if you didn't know, say we took one of our acros, and we put it over here and cloned it, you don't get any of the imprints, you don't get any of the anything, any points you put into it, it's literally just the base stats, so it kind of... It kind of sucks. It, it, it works out for these because, I mean, you don't get any imprint or anything anyways. It's just going to be the base stats. You can also do it with the rock elementals. I don't know if you can take those into boss fights. That's something I was trying to think, too. What else we could use? It's kind of weird to take into boss fights. And I don't know if rock elementals, I'll have to do some research to see what the drag weight is on them. Because that kind of affects what you can take in. As long as the drag weight is under a Rex, we should be able to take them in. Hmm, interesting. Well, not too bad of a day. Got us two griffins, and then, well, I mean, we got us two more griffins <laughs> with the whole cloning thing, but the cloner works. It is super expensive, man. I'll have to go back over to Gen 2 between now and the next couple videos, and I've got a ton of shards over there. I need to convert it into the transferable element and then bring it over here. I don't know how many I have. It's just all in a vault. I kind of got them from the, you know, whenever you change positions and it puts the asteroid field out there, you get the element ones. And that's where I got all my shards from. So hopefully we'll have enough to do 19 of the Griffins. Then we'll take in one UD as well. We'll do the boss fight here on Valgaro. And see how it goes, man. I got a lot of points to put into them too. I have to see what I want to put them into. I know it's going to be health. And then a lot into damage as well. I don't know. I think it'll be interesting. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little cloning session today. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.